Good day. Allow me to take you on a journey. A plane journey. Our destination to Australia. Our reason? We're going to look at two parishes in the Diocese of Brisbane. One of 22 dioceses in the Anglican Church of Australia. Our parishes are those of Noosa and Karura, about a hundred miles north of the city of Brisbane, the state capital of Queensland. Are you ready? Let's go. Right, we're away and on the road. Our first port of call is at the church, St Andrews in the Sunshine Beach in the parish of Noosa. The size of the community in which it is located is a population of about uh, 10,000 people. I was unable to find the dedication date for St Andrews, but as you can see it's a modern looking church and it wasn't built when I was in the area in the late 80s. Let's zoom away again. Our next port of call is at St Mary the Virgin in the town of Tewantin, about 10 miles west of St Andrews. This church is also in the parish of Noosa. There was originally a church in a different location within Tewantin, dating back to 1913, but this new church building was dedicated in 1995, and as I said, in a different location. The population here is also of about 10,000 people. Now let's go about nine miles west to the community of Kuroi, which has a population of about 3,000 people, uh, both in it and surrounding it. Let's look in the Church of the Holy Nativity, which is in the parish of Karura. The original church was built in 1913-1914, so just before the First World War, and was dedicated on the 21st of March, 1914. This church survived almost 50 years before it was demolished in a, in a cyclone, which is like a hurricane. 
on the night of Friday 19th of February 1954. The existing church was built and dedicated on the 6th of November 1954. Now we're on the next move of our journey, about seven miles northwest to the town of Pomona and the Church of the Good Shepherd, which is in the parish of Karura. Pomona has about 3,000 people living in and around it. The original church was built and subsequently dedicated on the 26th of August, 1923. In 1971, however, Cyclone Daisy blew the church off its stumps. A new church was built and uh, subsequently uh, rededicated in 1974. This new church contains the stained glass window and furniture of the original church. Righto, time to drive north about nine miles to the even smaller community of Kin Kin. There's about 600 people here and surrounding it. There we will find St. Luke's Church, which was originally dedicated on the 19th of November 1926. However, in 1985, the church was damaged in a ferocious storm and was rebuilt as a result of that storm. Thank <laughs> you. 
Now for somewhere and something completely different. Still in the parish of Karura, but the tiny community of Boreen Point, which has a population of about 300 people, both in and surrounding it. The drive is about 20 miles, but as there are no direct roads, we have to go south to Pomona before driving east to Boreen Point. And there is no church here, but there is a house. Roberts's house was left to the Karura Parish in December 1967 by Miss Elizabeth Roberts. And to satiate your curiosity, as far as I know, she is no relation. Ha-ha! Miss Roberts held Bible studies and fellowship meetings in her house for many years, and it was her intention that her home be made into a church after her death. Roberts's house is the location for the parish's outreach ROW program in conjunction with Boreen Point Rowers. This program provides self-esteem and team building for children and kids and teenagers who need an emotional boost.